A large fight forcing Aiken High School into a soft lockdown today. Aiken Bureau Chief Sean Cabbage Talk has more. I'm very concerned and nervous. Aiken Department of Public Safety responded to Aiken High School Thursday afternoon. Hannah. Ariel. Oh my God. Um, definitely their growth and development um, throughout a semester or a year, depending on what courses you teach them. Uh, they, they grow in their intellectual and maturity levels and develop into understanding how they should act socially and academically. So what are some positive things that you've seen at Aiken High? Um, some positive things I seen was teachers. Yes, they are so nice. They. They, I feel like they're really engaged with learning. They help us, you know, they want to see us graduate. How does Aiken High affect your social availability? Um, just by having genuine friends. I've had, well, I, my friends are the same friends I have had since forever, elementary school. But here at Aiken High, I have gained a lot, of, a lot more friends and yeah, they, my friends are like family to me. I could call them by anything. Yes, they get on my nerves, but that's what come with it. Most, when, when you first start off as freshmen, you're like, you don't want to talk to no admin because you either scared or you really don't know what's going on for real. And that was me at first, like my freshman year of high school here at Aiken High, I was like, I didn't, I didn't really want to talk to nobody, but then later on, as time progressed, and as, as I got to know their faces more and start trying to have conversation with them, like that's one thing that kind of got me over that, um, I guess you can say fear because we're interacting with me a whole lot. So um, yeah, I guess that just broke down that barrier for me to just start interacting with them. They joking around with me every single day. Um, it started off with, Miss Coach, who I love, because she, she's definitely like the mother. Coach Tim, he don't go to our school anymore, but he used to, he was a very impactful person. And now, it's Coach Williams. He's the comedian out of them all. At least try to be. But that's my, that's my role now, for real. So what are your thoughts on the students at Aiken High? I think um, a lot of them are just misjudged. I think a lot of them needs a little bit of direction. Not everybody is coming from the same home. Therefore, you don't know what's going on in their homes. Teachers come and play because we have amazing teachers um, like Dr. Hosteller, Dr. Terry. You know, they, and it's way much more Geyer, McMillan, way much more um, young. The list continues, but you know, that's why we have those teachers that can kind of put in that loving and care into the students. and. We remember those, like, believe it or not, that makes a, a big impact on us because we, we're seniors now, we're finna graduate, and we still remember times, what happened in freshman year, who was there and who was not there for us. So it definitely makes an impact in our lives. Positive things that I see from the students. So I don't get to get out and roam the halls um, that often, uh, so I don't get to see the student body and um, how they interact with each other and with the, the faculty and staff in the building. The positive that I see from my program um, is it's a little different that, and, and I say that to say this. So our students slash cadets 
they, they live at a minimum two lives because they're trying to fit into two worlds, right? And I, and I say that, um, and the example I'll give is that they have a world outside of ROTC. They have a world when they go home, they have a world with their friends, and this world here requires expectations, right? Like we have grooming standards, you know, there's, there's no swearing, there are rules, right? Um, and them trying to fit into our world and to fit into their personal worlds can somewhat um, be complicated and, and, and pose problems to them. And the way they take that, the way they take it on, um, sometimes kicking and screaming, um, but more often than not, they do that uh, with a smile on their face. And to see at the end of the day, um, or at the end of the year, or at the end of their four years, their tenure with us, um, the, the end result of them sticking that out um, is rewarding. Um, so for me, being able to see that uh, kids that are in Aiken High School that are still teenagers and still growing and still developing um, have the ability to stick with it and not just drop the course um, because they choose the the other world, vice our world, um, it's positive to see them make both worlds work. Can't have a school without students. Wait, 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 wait. This is right here. What you see is how we act here at Aiken High. Like this is what makes staying here worthwhile. <laughs> <laughs> Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha